Hello friends, welcome to your fourth uh, tutorial series and in this tutorial we are going to be explaining the interfaces of WordPress. Now the first thing I'm going to be talking about is the post. Now you notice in the website that uh, anytime you visit the website there would be a new post or if not there should be an old one. Like if we visit this our website, let me just visit it in a new tab. This is our new created website, the most boring website ever. We visit this website, uh, you will see this post, hello world. It is called a post. It is what? A post. So there is a place they actually inserted this post. And that place is called post in WordPress. So if you click on, if you highlight the post, this one will, be, will pop up just like a sub menu. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the post itself. And uh, it should open a post dialog box for me boom and it opens so this place is your post managers all your posts is going to appear here just like you see the hello world that is here this hello world here is appearing here as the title of the post so this is where you add new post like if you click on add new you will be able to add new post like this is where you type so you type your blah 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 you know i love punkin and punkin love me i love priscilla and blah 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 that's where you type the post and this list is where you type the title of the post and uh, some other settings some other settings here and then publish so when you are dealing with posts you'll be able to learn more about it but for now just to show you the next thing is media and media is a library or is a place where you see your pictures your videos pictures of the website videos of the website and other things there now when it opens you see we have no pictures here but when you choose this place you can add a new picture another thing is pages like if you have if you, are, you if you visit the website the website always have pages i know and uh, this website has a mini page okay it only has a sample page which is here when you click it, it takes you to another page i think by now you should know what the page is see this is a sample page blah 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 so this is where they added the page i'll be teaching you how to add pages in this website and uh, also i'll be teaching you how to convert categories to pages so if you click on this place you'll be able to add your new page this is comments now uh, comment is uh, when someone comments on your website is going to appear here when someone comments for example if I comment on this website it's my fresh website if I comment blah 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 post comment uh, let me see what is it telling me alright I've just posted a comment in this website boom and if I go here and refresh this place, I think I should be able to see the comments. Bam! So this is uh, my comments. Kapaski and that, that, that commented on this date and blah. So any comment that is in your website will appear on this comment box and this is the appearance on the appearance we have theme customized widget menus header which i will be able to explain later and this appearance if you just click on the appearance you'll be able to add new theme and, and maybe change the looks or the interface of your website the interface of this website you can be able to change it with the theme and customize is maybe you be able to customize your theme widgets which I will explain later. Then we have the next thing here called plugin. And plugin is uh, a place where you add functionalities to your website. Like for example, if you want your website to have a contact page, uh, contact uh, button, if you want your website to have a uh, recent post, all these things are what plugins. And if you click on add new, you can be able to add new plugin. I will, be es I will explain this later. Then users, this place is a place where you can be able to see all your users maybe someone logged into your website or someone create an account and you can be able to add users here assign roles to them now this place is tools 
can be able to see your available tools here import and export new tools so this is your setting and uh, the first thing i like setting each time i create a wordpress website is this which i'm going to show you i like changing this place to the motor of my website so i'm just going to say music is live do you believe that music is live do you believe it if you do drop me a comment and one other thing okay i think no other thing in this place i'm just going to save it save this one and uh, go to your parma links parma link or payment links as you may call it payment links and uh going to set my payment links now you see default each page that you create is going to have this p is equals to one two three and it's not really a good thing for seo that is for you to be able to for your website to be able to appear on google when someone search google to see your website this thing doesn't really seem good for it so what seems good for it is this one post name so uh, the website is going to appear like this http when you host it http your website name forward slash your page name or your post name for example if your post title is i love god then this place should be able to say i love god so that when someone types i love god you know and search your post will appear so you're just going to go ahead and click ok and uh these are the things I love setting first each time I create a WordPress website. So the next thing is uh, let me check my discussion. Under discussion, I can be able to ask someone to comment and maybe disable comments. In this place, you will be able to users must register before and log in in order to comment and blah blah blah. So you can be able to set all this. So at, at your own subsequent time, just go ahead, check and test whatever is here. Check and test it. Check it, test it, uncheck it, and you'll be able to learn more about this. So, but for now, my time is up, and uh, I'm going to say thank you for watching my tutorials, and don't forget to subscribe. See you.